Good morning. Welcome to week eight, or eight and nine. Week eight is choose a platform, choose a domain name, choose a copyright, and then week nine is uh, build it, make your website. So really the two weeks kind of together. It's, um, well, platform, domain name, copyright, and go for it. So there's five pages on our website that have info, info on platforms, the domain names, copyright, building your website, and then there's also a page filled with tutorials for some of the more common uh, platform choices like Wix, Squarespace, WordPress, and so on. Um, and whenever you need help, if you got some info on how different ways to get help, including just saying, hey, Glenn, what do I do? But uh, one of the great ways to get help with any of these platforms is just to go on YouTube. YouTube is a much, for a lot of things, YouTube is a better search engine than Google. So drop by YouTube and say, how do I do X? Uh, Wix or Squarespace, uh, you know, format, flush right, flush left, move this, center image, whatever you can't find the button for. If you hunt around, you probably find it, but um, YouTube is a great place to get those answers. Anyway, uh, so there's a tutorial page and you can also just search on YouTube. Uh, so platform, domain name, copyright. So platform, uh, our page, I've got a table with like three dozen choices. It's not too uh, scary a table, I don't think. Uh, but we can make it even simpler. So before I make it simpler, let me say that you can use any of those three dozen choices. And in fact, there's many, many more beyond those three dozen that I haven't even listed. If there's any obscure website builder that you want to use, knock yourself out. You can use anything. Uh, but those three dozen are a pretty good choice. And let me make it even simpler than that. Almost two thirds of the class usually chooses Wix. Almost one third usually chooses Squarespace. Uh, almost 10% maybe chooses WordPress and then maybe 3% uh, choose everything else. So those are your breakdowns. If you're a writer type, uh, art history, art education, museum communications, art reviews, any, any of those kind of areas that might be of interest for you, medium might be a good choice. Uh, but the bulk of you very likely uh, Wix is gonna be the way to go. Uh, why is it two-thirds Wix, one-third Squarespace? To be honest, it's because Wix has a free option. Um, so there's three different models that um, the platforms will use, free, freemium, and premium. Free, uh, like Tumblr for example, is just, you can just have it, we don't even want your money. Freemium uh, would be like Wix or WordPress.com for example. Um, We'll give you some stuff for nothing, uh, but your address will be me.wix.com and we'll put some ads on your website. If you wanna pay us some money, then instead of me.wix.com, you can have me.com and instead of ads, we'll take the ads off. So there's free like Tumblr, you can just have it. There's freemium like Wix, uh, you can have it for nothing or you can pay us money and have it nice. And then there's premium like Squarespace, just give us money, we're not farting around with options, free options. So as starving students, a lot of people tend to choose Wix because it has the pay us nothing now, you can think about paying us something later if you want to option. Um, I've been a starving student. Well, when I was a student at the University of Hawaii, I weighed less than I've ever weighed in my life. Uh, I wasn't actually starving, I had a, anyway. I know money can be tight, and every semester I want to say that you have to buy your own domain name, and then I always wimp out and say, it shouldn't be Glenn's choice when you spend your money. It should be your choice when you spend your money. So I don't require anyone to buy their own domain name, but it's strongly recommended. And just like when I've talked about focusing your career, that instead of saying, well, I'm pursuing these four different things, I'm trying to keep these four different balls in the air at the same time, Pick one thing, you can always come back to the others later if you want to. Uh, that lets people connect to you better, but even more than that, it lets you have a singular focus. This is my mission, this is the career I'm going to make happen. Similarly with the website, when you say, ah, I'm just gonna take a free thing from Wix, I don't care that the URL is me.wix.com, and I don't care that there's ads for, you know, whatever random shit all around my page, and, it's all good, I'll just throw some stuff up there and maybe I'll pay later, I don't know. The whole thing is a little 
less serious, a little less professional, a little less ideal, I think. When you pay Wix or pay, Word, uh, pay uh, Squarespace or pay anybody else, and you get me.com and there's no ads, there's nothing but you on the page, um, it's, it's a little better for people coming to look at your work, thinking about hiring you, and it's also better for you connecting to yourself, for you having the confidence that I'm all in, I'm totally serious about this. So I'd recommend it if you're able to. Um, if you're not going to need it for a while and you want to wait and do the, the Wix free for now, it, it's totally your choice. Um, as for the domain names, uh, me.com, glenzuckman.com, something like that is, is best. I know a lot of us have clever internet handles. I would encourage you to use your name. There's more on the page. I won't go on and on about it, but that's my suggestion. Um, and then copyright. Uh, traditionally, and what most of you probably will want, is copyright, all rights reserved. It's mine, don't do anything with it. That doesn't even allow people to actually like say, oh, I like this picture, and post your picture on their website, even giving you credit. It's just all you can do is look at it with your eyeballs and then don't touch it. Um, the 180 degree opposite of copyright, all rights reserved is public domain. It isn't even mine. The world owns it. Um, more recently, uh, for the times that we live in and the internet interactivity that we live in, there are six Creative Commons licenses you could also choose. Info on the website again about this. Um, so I, for example, am not interested in trying to sell any of the stuff on my site. I just make it Creative Commons attribution. Anybody can take my stuff, they can do anything they want with it, they can remix it, they can post it, whatever they like. The only thing is attribution. Uh, the source image is, or, or whatever it is, image or whatever it might be, is for me. Note that anytime you make a creative work, anytime you make a painting, an illustration, write a song, take a picture, uh, create Harry Potter, Harry Potter the book, Harry Potter the character, any, any of these things, it is automatically copyrighted by you. You do not need to register it, you do not need to mail anything anywhere. It is yours, you own it, and nobody can do anything with your stuff unless you give them permission. Creative Commons is a way to give some permission away. Anyway, uh, read more about the details of all that on the website, but you should most platforms will have a footer at the bottom where you can have your copyright. So in my case, it would be Creative Commons Attribution, or for most of you, probably it'll be Copyright Always Reserved. And then also on your About page, the About page is mostly uh, about me. It's an artist statement, it's a bio, but it should also have any sort of technical information like the images on this website are all copyright, all rights reserved, Glenn Zuckman 2022. Uh, or, um, in my case, it would be Creative Commons Attribution, but in your case. Um, so I would let the footer say that for all the pages, and then I would specifically state that on the, uh, on the About page. Uh, you could put it on every image, either in the caption or in the alt text, or you could watermark it. I'm not a fan of watermarks, but you might be. Um, in any case, copyright statement. And then on the About page, you're going to have a contact page also, but the About page, uh, if you're not giving everything away, which you probably aren't, uh, then it should have contact information. Uh, if you're interested in licensing this work, email me here or be in touch in some way. Um, okay, so that's choose a platform, choose a domain name, um, and there are a lot of domain name choices. Uh, .com is called a TLD, a top-level domain. There are many other choices like dot us dot uk dot info dot me dot art dot ninja dot rocks it goes on forever uh, dot photo dot ink dot lots of things um, info again on the website so officially week eight choose a platform choose a domain name and decide on how you're going to uh, work with copyright and then next week you can do both this week if you like next week is build it um, so Go ahead and take all your great content, put it onto Wix, Squarespace, or whatever you've chosen. Um, for the first five weeks, we 
kind of figured out what was going on, right? We came up with a, a mission statement, a five-year plan, a personal goal. Um, you researched artists in your field. You looked at websites for people who do kind of similar things to you. Uh, and you created this all-important viewer profile, which is your touchstone. If I'm a painter, it's a curator at a gallery that might be able to show my work. If I'm a uh, graphic designer, it's a creative director or an art director at an ad agency or a design shop who might be able to hire me. If I'm an illustrator, it's an art buyer. If I'm uh, an animator, it's an HR director at an animation studio. Uh, if I'm a wedding photographer, then it's individual people. It's couples, brides, etc. who might hire me to do uh, wedding photography. Um, it could also, if I'm a painter, in addition to being a curator at a gallery, it could be a collector who might buy my work, um, et cetera, et cetera. But you've created this viewer profile, which I keep talking about, because they're your touchstone. Everything, every decision you have to make, it's how would Jennifer Smith at XYZ Design receive this choice? Is this font going to speak to her more or less? Is black type on a white background, white type on a black background. If I were a tattoo artist, uh, maybe I would have white type on a black background. If I were a wedding photographer, maybe I'd have black type on a white background. A different choice, I mean, those are kind of big, dramatic, gross choices, but every choice, large and small, uh, is keeping this, this curator at this art gallery, this couple hiring a wedding photographer, this creative director at an ad agency, all of these people we're keeping in mind as we create this piece. Uh, once you build this website on Wix or Squarespace or WordPress or wherever, it's a pretty good chance you're going to keep it there for a very long time. Uh, if you ever should want to move it, sometimes there are importers from platform A to platform B, but often you might not, depending on what platform A and B are, you might not find an importer. Nicest way to organize your work is to put it all in Dropbox or OneDrive or iCloud or Google Drive or any of these places. Free version hopefully is enough to take care of most of your stuff. Um, but if you stage all of your images, all of your words, all of your other materials, then you can easily slide them over to Wix if you ever decide that you want to do Squarespace or something else instead and there's no import the other one into ours, you can just easily slide it over. Also, if you're applying for a grant, a residency, grad school, whatever, and they say, you know, upload some images here and your artist statement here. You've got everything staged in your Dropbox or whatever you use to slide straight over to this application form if, if you need that. Uh, so that's basically our mission for weeks eight and weeks nine is choose a platform, Wix, Squarespace, WordPress, whatever you want. Choose a domain name. Hopefully you'll actually get one. Uh, I encourage you to. It's not required, but it's encouraged. Uh, me.com, glenzickman.com is the best choice for most of us. Pick copyright uh, and then you'll be using it on your website. Again, for me, it's Creative Commons Attribution. For you, very likely, it's going to be copyright all rights reserved. Uh, and then week nine, if you haven't already done it or haven't already started, jump on that site you claimed at Wix, Squarespace, wherever and build your website. Put all those images on pages like we've talked about. We structured your menus, all those things. Make it happen. Yay, super exciting. You're gonna be live to the world now. Um, as always, give me a shout if you have any questions. Happy to chat by email. Happy to hop on Zoom anytime. Um, I hope you have fun. Um, uh, no matter what platform you choose, it's going to be a little bit frustrating if you have not used it before, not because they're really hard to use, but just because you haven't used it before. The button to center the thing isn't where you think it should be, it's underneath some flap somewhere. So if you poke around for a while, you'll find it. Uh, if you poke around for a while and you don't find it, hop on YouTube and say, hey, YouTube, uh, Wix center image how or whatever and you'll find tutorials uh, or message me um, so good luck i hope you have fun minimum frustration maximum fun i hope you're going to see your work live to the world start showing it to people super exciting have a great week talk to you soon